One of the young lads actually recognised me from TikTok. Long lost family relative rocks up at this door, and it's this guy. Now this black stuff right in front of me, that is peat. And you get that from bogs here in Ireland, and it burns incredibly well, incredibly slowly, and it smells, smells fantastic. So right now I'm in Bonarati folk village and castle. This whole village has been rebuilt in like a very traditional style for, for a very traditional classical Irish folk village. Now this fence behind me, these these stone fences you'll see behind me, you'll see this kind of fence like everywhere in Ireland. The stones that make up the wall actually came from the fields. Ireland was actually very, very naturally a very rocky place. So when they were clearing the land, tilling the land, plowing the land, all the stones that they would find, they would just take those stones and, and accumulate them and they would use them to actually build the fences. <laughs> Medieval dungeon in the bottom of the castle. Oh, screw being locked in here. Just snuck up after I'm not meant to go. Get a better view. You can see everything from up here. If you pay attention to the way the staircases are built, they're designed to be advantageous to the ones defending the castle so they can draw their swords out and defend. But the people coming up the staircase, when they draw their swords, it's too narrow and tight. They hit the side of the wall with their sword, makes it less advantageous for them to defend their position as they're coming up or down the stairs. So when they were restoring this place, it wasn't uh, as intact as, as it is right now. There wasn't actually any windows, like uh, any glass rather, in all the windows and things. That was actually the, the original condition, didn't actually have any glass because it was built before glass. I had a question, I was like, how the hell did they get all these pieces of furniture in there? Up and down all these ridiculously thin stairs. And uh, apparently the way they got all in there was they like hoisted it up through the uh, glassless windows. <laughs> So the sport that's going on behind me right now is the amazing game of hurling. And this is a traditional Gaelic Irish sport. It is the fastest field sport on the planet. The closest thing to it is probably lacrosse. I actually suspect that lacrosse evolved from this sport. All amateur athletes, by the way, 100% amateur sport, no professional. They've taken athletes from this sport and they've put them into baseball and a few other sports like that. And they, they can outclass like professional baseball players with their hand-eye coordination with catching this goddamn ball. The speed at which this sport moves is ridiculous. Old town turns out for the sport. Both sides of the road absolutely filled with cars. So we're here in the middle of Kilkenny and I've managed to track down distant family relatives here in this neighborhood. Our family has apparently been living in this neighborhood for about two, 300 years. This might be our long lost uh, descendants who came out in the 800s on a slave ship, on a, uh, you know, prison ship to Australia. And we seem to have found, we just literally just ran into a couple of people with the exact same family name as us. Yeah, now they're taking us to, to meet another cousin. And one of the young lads actually recognised me from TikTok. If there was like a bullet point list of things that young men should work on maxing out, it's delayed gratification, discipline, and extreme ownership. It is in everything is your fault. Isn't that nuts? <laughs> Long lost family relative rocks up at this door, and it's this guy. We went to the tourist information centre and they directed us to Another little house where there was a, a genealogist. She wasn't in at the time. And just so happens, the lady behind the counter, her mother was married to uh, our family name. And she said, oh, if you go up, up, up this street up here, up this passage roundabout, this neighborhood here, as for your family, your, your long, long, long distance relatives, have been living for 200, 300 years. They've been living in that same area. Old mate here pops his head into, into someone's house and says, excuse me, we're looking, you know, we're looking for, for some relatives. Very lovely lady by the name of Bernie. She proceeded to guide us around the entire neighborhood for the next, yeah. next 10 minutes, knocking on everyone's door. Took us to the final house and right there on the door, right underneath the number was the, was the name our pops, three, four of them at a time. The four brothers all recognized me from bloody TikTok. One of the oldest brothers took us to meet his great uncle, who was absolutely, absolutely on the plonk, on the plonk. I don't know where I felt like I get a little drink around. Here, do you, bud? Missing his whole front row of teeth. He gave him a bloody bottle, got a bottle of Jack Daniels. There's the bottle of Jack right there. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow we've ended up in a rickshaw again. Uh, it's it's, what they're called. Again. Again. It's like, and it's, it's, another, it's another pink one. But we've added people and we're overloading the rickshaw. So and uh, we're you going... might be fined a thousand pounds. It is our preferred method of transport. <laughs> it's the best now. method of transport. And we're going to smash.